ዘመኑና የራዩ ሁሉ ነገር ቀርቧል አዎ ማ ብራዘርስ ኢን ሲስተርስ አዎ ማ ጋርን ኤንድ ቢዮንድ ናው ዋት ዶስ ዳት ሚን ዘመኑና የራዩ ሁሉ ነገር ቀርቧል ዋው you know there's many cynics and there's many doubters out there skeptics but now now my brothers and sisters and others now is the time to wake up now is really the time for ones and ones to wake up and to heed what is happening what is happening all over this world and all around the world in this present seclorum ja he spoke to the prophet Ezekiel his yeah, about the skeptics that there will be skeptics and scoffers and he said um son of man what is this proverb that you people have about the land of Israel which says the days are prolonged and every vision fails this is what the people were saying they said the days are just you know days like go on and on and on and all this prophetic talk all this prophecy some say fails you know when you look at all the folks out there some religious others pseudo whatever you know saying that well the end is near or the last days or or this is this day is the end of the world so forth and so on so we we see that there has been a lot of false prophets and false prophecies so many of the people say the days just continue like they always do and every vision every arai every arai it, it fails all this vision talking about like a new world talking about the end of all of this this evil and the evil doers it's like the evil doers are, are prospering you like the rich get richer in other words and the poor get poorer where is all this talk about you know the vision of god this this vision of paradise this vision of a new world so in ezekiel's time in nabiu his kiel's time the people had this misale this mishle they had this this proverb and in ezekiel chapter 12 22 you'll find it there where they said the days are prolonged and every vision and every vision fails. But what does Jah say to humanity and and to to mankind's uh, skepticism, to all their scoffing and to all their mockery and to all their doubt? What does he say to it? He says tell them therefore thus saith Adoni Yahweh. Thus saith Adoni Jawa I will lay this proverb to rest he's going to put that proverb betty by you know the proverb that well the days just keep going on and all this prophetic talk and vision is failing and we see this phenomenal solar eclipse that is said to be occurring and going to occur roughly sunday the first day of hud May 20th 2012 to be a positive sign of that. I mean we already see those of us who are able to see the prophecy on earth. You understand even the recent prophecy with the seventh head of the Roman Empire, the so-called Euro beast that's on the rise. This whole global economic thing is just the is just the the pretext or the prologue to something bigger and more dramatic. that is occurring in other words we still speak in 2012 but the real political geopolitical picture is much like it was in 1937 1938 now most folks might not even know what really occurred in 1937 1938 and they need to check history out because they say history repeats itself but every time that you have to learn a lesson again it is said that you are subject and sometimes obligated to pay a higher price it's much more costly that's why we see the link with the 
the great tribulation and, and Yaakov's, Jacob's trouble being right at the doors. In other words, this is right now, my people, right now. So check this out what John says. John says, he says, I will lay this proverb to rest, and they, speaking of the scoffers and the skeptics out there, they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. So it's not speaking about the Gentile scoffers and mockers and skeptics, but it's speaking about those of our people or those of what we can say are the lost sheep, the sheeple. In other words, speaking of the sheeple of the Beta Israel or the Negroes, blacks, and coloreds that really don't know themselves. All right? But say to them, the days are at hand and the fulfillment of every vision. Zamenu na ye raiu hulu negar kar boal. That's translated as. The days or the zemen, zemen is at hand, and the fulfillment of every vision. All matters, all of the divine, the rhema words are coming into effect right now, my brothers and sisters. So it's time for I and I to get awake and aware and to get our house in order, our spiritual, psychological, and physical house in order. In that order, spirit first, you'll send psychologically second. When you, when you have the right spirituality, brothers and sisters, the psychological state, in other words, in other words our soul state, you know, he, he restores to I and I, I and I soul. You understand? But what does he say? Anyone that, that, that loves their life shall lose it, but one who seeks to lose their life, like Christ said, into your hands do I commend my spirit, or more accurately, my soul, my psychic state. And that was based on the Mizmur Dawit, or the keys of David, the Psalm of David. So don't put the body first. Put the spirit first. Get your house in Order. Don't have it upside down. If you're focusing on your physical life and the physical, material things first, then you have it upside down. You need to get your spiritual house in order. You need to get shalom in the home. I'm talking about in the home. You understand? And then it will be in the home. Now, check this out. You know, we need to keep our eyes open to what John is doing. You understand the signs in the heavens and the manifestations of prophecy or the fulfillment of every vision that's happening even on earth. So as above, so below. So John is doing something in this present time. Now, Ahun, Ahun, my people, Ahun, his day. And as the end of this age, the end of this particular cycle of time, as it approaches, and the seals, the seals are being unleashed. The seals are being opened, my brothers and sisters, on this present seclura, on this present world, or, if you please, this present world system. Now, there's a particular framework, you know, to prophecy. And what I find interesting, and I showed you this from the beginning, this little booklet right here. It's an interesting um, booklet um, is produced by the Tomorrow World, Tomorrow's World people, and it's and it's free, so you can like check them out, tomorrowsworld.org, and you can either I think maybe download a copy on the internet if you want to read it and order a copy, and I think they will probably send a copy out to you as well, but you can get it online as well. So some of these materials good to become familiar with it. You know, so we're not saying that every interpretation of it is right and exact, but the context is, is still very important for us to at least know what's what, you know, since to become familiar with these, these things. Now, what is very, very interesting is that in this particular section of the book, Armageddon and Beyond, it has a lot of interesting and timely 
um, information, speaking about um, Armageddon, of course, whether they recognize Armageddon 1974 or not, which is a subject matter I and I um, need to um, teach on. Um, the Jehovah Witness, I think they had a prophecy concerning Armageddon 1974. And so when one didn't see really what was happening in 1974, they assumed that that was a false prophecy. However, from an Ethiopian Hebrew perspective, that prophecy was not false. So when we interpret the word rightly, we can put it into its proper context, but without seeing the King of Kings, or Moa Anbesa Zen Negeda Yehuda, in Ethiopia, and we Ethiopians at home and abroad in our proper context. Therefore, the prophecy is not fully 